I'm excited. We are we are we ready for this? Ready to do this, guys? I'm ready. I'm not scared. From Los Angeles, California, we are the Mad Scientist Party Hour. friends welcome to mad scientist party hour my name's kevin Kraft, and hey i'm joined by a man who's thrown his pants and undies out the window and is using his boner to pull that voting lever that's jeff clark yeah right i'm boning with my dick and transmitting to us from the front lines in pa a man trying to pick a winner as he picks his nose. That's the bearded booger eating suffragette known as Shuddy Boy. Yo. Brat, brat. And back in the house once again from Omaha, the great Alex Wilson. Hey guys. Hello. <laughs> is this what, the... a whole, what a wholesome entrance. <laughs> What's up? How's it going? Alex is here. I bought brownies. <laughs> you know, I do that at work all the time. They call me the Unibaker. Do you bring <laughs> special treats? <laughs> I wish that the, the place I worked was not cool enough to bring mm. special treats. Is this the first time we've ever seen your art studio? Is it? It might be. This is where that's I a draw fancy a room that, that's, a, that's a fancy name you have for a bedroom. <laughs> it's really just the corner. It's actually the corner of my living room. Oh, nice. That's where you, you draw up your... your... spot in Nebraska? I just have a living room. A studio. Yeah, I have like a living room and a uh, bedroom and like a bathroom and then no kitchen. Are you... Are you fucking with me? You no. didn't. You don't feel like answering that question like a normal human? No, so... He has, well, a, stu- he has a one-bedroom like apartment. A, well, I mean, you just no place. kitchen. Like, no, I have a, no, I have a living room. I have a bedroom. Well... I, I it's not like a full like, thing. Oh. It's like it's like the basement of a house. Okay. All right. How do you? It just doesn't have a meals? kitchen. Do you have a stove? Little stove. Uh, eating out or? Yeah, I have like well, a Alex, fridge. Alex, we don't need a... to know about your extraculars. <laughs> I hope I hope you don't have a fucking roommate because I don't think he could put up with this shit. Well, not down here. I like live in a house with other people. Like I'm renting a basement. Okay. That's cool. Are they chill? They're super chill. Can you smoke pot down there? Uh, see, I, 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 I do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> do they have children? No. Okay, that's cool. Pets? Dog. Nice. Do you get along with the dog? Oh, yeah. The dog is right by me. He doesn't talk shit? What's, um, when's the last time you've been, you've been out to L.A. now? We did a Dungeons & Dragons last time you were here, right? Uh, I think it was December. Like December last year, 2019, right before Christmas. Yeah. Oh shit. Not much has happened since then, though. So that's cool. Yeah, it's been a very yeah, uneventful year. I figured. <laughs> Man. That uh, no one's no one's changed too much in uh, just sitting in their living rooms. No. I mean, I've gotten uh, wider. I'll tell you that. You know, Jeff, your your V neck it just slims you down. I know. That's. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wear it? Jeff. I wouldn't say you've gotten wider. I'd say you've just gotten more supple. <laughs> <laughs> supple. Supple is a word I use for wholesome breasts. I don't know if I want that lumped into my figure. Hey, you're no, you're I the one rocking fatter. the V-neck. I'm not going to be easy on myself. I'm going to fat shame myself. Fat people are the reason that we're in this fucking predicament, and I'm just adding to my size, and it's a goddamn disgrace. What I am learning is that I really need weightlifting and weightlifting is good. Like that, that's what I know. I, I, I have a shitty diet that needs to be worked on, yada, yada, yada. But the other thing, and I've read this, this is what instigated me or this is what caused me to start weightlifting in the first place is you burn more fat by weightlifting. You just changed my name to something lame. You probably did. <laughs> Supple doodle smocker, whatever. <laughs> and you probably locked my ability to change it too so i'm just stuck as supple doodle smocker 
weightlifting helps you lose weight and me not having it anymore is just is means I'm just gonna get fatter and fatter and fatter. Why don't you buy some you weights or though. something? It's not about me. Shut the fuck up, Alex. It's about Alex. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Alex. Okay. <laughs> no, why don't you do pull up? Like you could do you get like a one of those door frame pull up bars and you could do push ups at home. That's what I, I do. Got you. Yeah, prison I got like workouts. A, I got you. Yeah. I mean, I yeah, like that. like go plank for like a minute. I got a kettlebell. Uh, no, you're right. I'm not making excuses. That's fine. I should probably get some TRX bands or something like that. But I just, you know, just the whole process of going to the gym, hitting the sauna, seeing people that I know, talking shit about the sports that have been going on or just life or some hot chicks at the gym. And it's like, a routine. It, it's, like a, it's a whole thing. It's a whole fucking yeah. thing. There's like a, there's like so many other aspects to like it beyond just working out. I like just you're doing push-ups, it's fitness. not the same. Yeah, exactly. I'm not. I'm not in jail. Well, I mean, you could like uh, just get a bunch of you know a stack of hardcover books, and you can lift those. Do you have any of those at your house? <laughs> I don't. I don't have a phone. I any phone books at my house. Not a phone book. Hardcover books. Prison oh, workout. Hardcover books. No, I don't have yeah. those either. Yeah. Do you have any first editions? No, 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 no. I don't have any trades or hardcovers oh, or anything like that. I just got rid of all my encyclopedias. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. My couch is very, curl uh, alley. very heavy. Jeez, I can just geez. do curls with that. Yeah, curl alley. I could do that. No, that's that's fine. Yeah, I hit her. In, she's like 18 pounds now. Get her on each arm. Yeah. Like 10 times. Give her a little kiss at the top of each curl. I'll t- <laughs> that would be romantic. Uh, I'll do like tricep <laughs> extensions. Yeah, 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 there you go. It's a great one. Uh, thinking outside the box. That's why. That's why I appreciate your presence and your appearance on this podcast, Alex. Alex, are you as nervous about the election as all of us are? I. To be nervous, I'd have to have hope. <laughs> <laughs> So no, you, you know, that's kind of where I'm sitting, where I've very much accepted that my worst case scenario, we might be sitting there and I, there's nothing I can do about it. That's true. Hey, Kevin, you, you're invited to come over to my place tomorrow if you want uh, to hang on, watch the election, witness the apocalypse. I have a th- three TV wall I'm going to have on the main TV with the sound the Alex Jones, Joe Rogan coverage in the top left-hand corner. I'm going MSNBC and then top right. I'm going Fox and we're just going to, we're just going to get all the perspectives, all of them. It's going to be great. Um, yeah. Most that, importantly, Alex Jones. That sounds awful. <laughs> hey, come on. You're going to be, you're going to be watching, right? You're going to be watching. I mean, you might even, do you even have an exercise, uh, exercise bike movie queued up or you're probably just gonna be watching no i because i I usually don't um do i i never have time to hit the bike during the week like there used to be a day or two where i could sneak it in and those days are fucking history um so yeah i mean i was i was able to like at like 10 o'clock at night the past week start some horror movies and stuff leading up to halloween but i mean at ten o'clock at night, when I'm finished with all my shit, I'm I'm wiped out. You're not getting my ass on a bike. I'm over it. Uh, I'm probably just gonna be because I'm thinking about it, like you know the time change, and you know once you get to the West Coast, you pretty much know how most of those states are going. Um, I don't know. I'll probably just be playing oh, Fortnite. Get good around six our time. That's when it gets good. Hmm. Yeah, my time it's gonna be like midnight before anything is kind of even being fully reported yeah I mean, yeah, yeah i'm not gonna get an answer until like december anyways <laughs> it's probably pretty accurate for real there's there's gonna be some lawsuits and shit going on pendings i yeah. saw that my ballot yeah, got it's... checked or got counted today my bad yeah Mine i got that a, about ago. a week ago how about yours shuddy i am going to the polls tomorrow uh, Shuddy got stoned and forgot. Too. No, I, well, yeah. Um, <laughs> Kevin has even been really 
Kevin has been my own personal Facebook ad for going to vote. Have you voted yet? Are you voting? When are you voting? Have you voted yet? Uh, and last week, he texted me. He's like, so did you go vote yet? And I was like, actually, I it was like 2.30 in the afternoon. I found out that early voting stopped at 4.30 that day. So I'm like, actually, I, I'm going to finish what I'm in the middle of right now uh, and go do it before the polls close. Uh, and then I had a an acai emergency and ended up having to work past the time the polls closed. So Oh no, somebody switched the dragon fruit with acai. So I have to get up bright and early tomorrow and go stand in line uh, to vote. And I'm going to do it. My uh allegedly. <laughs> my friend Austin, Kevin, you've met Austin in, yeah. in Japan. Yep. Uh he lives in Chicago and he was voting absentee in Nebraska. And uh, he w- his wasn't going to get here in time with the mailing stuff. So I ended up going up there and just driving up there for the weekend, getting his ballot, hanging out with him, and then just driving it back and dropping it off. Oh, damn. I spent like three hours voting the other day. Like think- looking everything up? I yeah, did the same I thing. Know. I think we we we, we might have talked about this on the podcast or something. So yeah, in twenty eighteen, in twenty eighteen, Jeff and I, after we did the podcast or maybe before, we Googled every single initiative on the ballot in the midterms, like every proposition, everything. And oddly enough, Jeff and I lined up exactly. We landed on the same side of every issue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's our homie. And not with any particular party. We fucking, we made our own decisions. We researched the pros, the cons, what one party was saying about it, what the other party was saying about it. And without even like looking at each other's paper or anything like that, we just both came to the same conclusions. It was pretty funny. Cool. But we yeah, I did. put on a MAGA hat. <laughs> Dude, they, the, these battle things are fucked up, man. So my grandpa is like diehard Republican, has been his whole life, will be for the rest of it. Like if... Bin Laden rose from the grave and ran as a Republican, he would vote for him. And <laughs> well, he's his, some conservative policies. <laughs> he's like he's like an older an older dude. So at this point, his signature has changed. So his ballot got rejected because his signatures didn't match up. But luckily, I guess Jersey is one of those states that'll like tap you on the shoulder and be like, hey, uh, looks a little fishy here and gave him a chance to like redeem it. But yeah, there's some weird fuckery afoot. No, so um, I, I, I was reading about this. I'm thinking about betting this stuff tomorrow oh or God. tonight. Don't do that because you fucking jinx things with your bets. Just sit this one out. Just double well, down on football. Maybe I was going to vote for the guy that you weren't rooting for. Whatever but way why you, you just vote. bet the initiatives. You can't bet the props. No, my, 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 uh, a guy I know lists the lines for statewide elections and the general. So I was thinking about taking uh, Trump in Wisconsin and maybe Biden in Pennsylvania since each one of those guys are getting plus odds, and I feel like it's good value. I don't know. It seems like Shuddy's not going to vote. You might want to You might want to switch to Trump on that one. But to, no, but I to am your, voting. <laughs> allegedly. Uh, to Kevin's point, though, <laughs> I read somewhere online that it's called curing, curing signatures or curing votes. And it's like when the signature doesn't match up with whatever the DMV has and they won't accept your ballot. Supposedly the Republicans recovered 52% of ballots that need to be cured versus Republicans who have... Re- Democrats. Uh, you just said Republicans for both. Oh, Democrats. I'm sorry. Democrats cured 51% and Republicans cured 38%. Hmm. So if that, I don't know if you're thinking about gambling on this and you get... You uh, listen to Mad Scientist Party Hour right when it hits the feed. Just a little nugget for you. Democrats are, are, are making sure they're not losing votes better than the Republicans. Jeff is f- only following the election for gambling purposes. That, that's it. No, you're right. <laughs> Dude, so I was listening to this uh, sports betting radio, uh, satellite radio network. It's called VEASAN. Uh, it's Vegas Sports Information Network, whatever. I was listening for sports betting. 
and on the sports betting show, this guy brought up one of the most fascinating, honestly, one of the most fascinating election or presidential like think uh, thoughts or, or takes that I've ever heard. So this guy, Jimmy Vaccaro, who's like a famous sports bookie, uh, famous bookie on the Daily Show a few years ago with Jon Stewart, said that voter voter turnout would increase if you allowed Vegas to take bets on the election. <laughs> and and if you think about it, I, I feel like it's a great point and he's And he's right, because a lot more people make some sort of bets, whether it be fantasy or just whatever. Lotto, if you want to count that, actually sports bets, March Madness, and then probably vote. I think it's close at least. And if you bet on an election, you're 100, 100% going to go out and vote. 100%. Because you can have like a one trillionth percentage of a sway on, on your, your, your vote or your, sure, your bet. It's, but it's not, it's not like ridiculous thinking. Like if you put money on someone, the least you're going to do is actually vote for that person. Like you'll actually do that. You're just a yeah, I, fucking I gambling junkie, supple dude or smockers. You're just <laughs> like, if we get America addicted to gambling, at least they'll vote. First of all, America's addicted to gambling anyways. Okay. I mean, very true. That's already accurate. Yeah, there's not, it's not like uh, the only thing that he's saying or the only thing that's being discussed is just making it legal in America to bet on the election. Supposedly, like the offshore books, like Australia has some crazy action on the election, on the US election. Like, they're, oh, it's like bigger than the Super Bowl. They're saying, like, bookies, Vegas bookies think that the US election would do double the Super Bowl. So, Jeff. When the Pope dies, can you bet on the new Pope? Po- possibly. Oh, you just I gave probably, Jeff a new thing I've to bet on. It. I've never seen it, but I, I probably, yeah. Yeah, I can see like, well, five dimes not around anymore, but we like Patty Poker or someone overseas like creating a line for that. But it's hard to like handicap or to like price those things because who knows anything about fucking Bishop? The Catholic or, Church or whatever, yeah, the, like, the cardinals of them. Yeah, like, could you imagine some, like, fucking old wise guy in Vegas being like, I don't know, man, this fucking guy in Peru, this bishop, he really has it going. And I think, I think the white smoke is going to be for him. I think he's getting the white smoke. Oh, you can't, you can't cut out the dark horse archbishop of Chicago. (laughs) You know where we never had, you know where we never had a pope from? China. And I really like this Chinese bishop. Let me tell you, he's doing some (laughs) great things over there. I got them at 15,000 to one. You never, <laughs> you always have to bet in a 15,000 to one shot. <laughs> You're like, yeah, throw, throw 10 bucks on him. <laughs> yeah, fuck it, dude. Here we go. I'm rolling. Uh, real quick, just to pivot off of the politics stuff. Stop me if I read this one. I don't think no, I let's did. Stick with politics and religion. Shut up, <laughs> yeah, Jeff. The safe things. Actually, you know, fuck that. Let's get uh, some gambling lines on abortions. No, let's just dip right into trans uh, transgenderism. Let's talk about that. <laughs> uh, I got an email. So stop me if I if I read this one last week. I don't think I did. Uh, says, what's up, MSPH? I just wanted to reach out and let you guys know that you continue to kill it every week. I'm loving the new supermarket queef segment. Uh, I keep getting more bang from my Puminati Elite Extreme Bucks. All the $10 tier content is great between the three of you. Uh, some of my favorite boxes are checked. Movies, video games, comics, and of course, delicious snacks. After listening to the last couple of main show episodes, I have to say something. On a recent What the Fuck Did I Just Watch, Shuddy referred to me as the bottom of the Puminati pile for suggesting mean guns. I get it. It's not for everyone. But I think Hyper Chris has earned that title now with his slandering of my man Shuddy. Tone it down, Hyper Chris. Keep it up, guys. Chris McQueen, a.k.a. Low Man 19 your MSPH Canadian champion. If uh, this email must back. have been set, sent after the last, sent before the last episode of What the Fuck Did I Just Watch? Oh, yeah, you hated that one. Because 
I have pulled him up out of the basement and brought him back up into the main house. And Dom is now in that spot. <laughs> and I, the I, commissioner. Made that, I made that clear uh, on the last episode of what the fuck did I just watch? I Man. don't even remember the name of that terrible movie. It was like s- scream. It's, it was like a, a, like an American idol horror movie or some shit. With oh, Meatloaf. that's right. Yep. Uh, oh man, that was even... great. Dominic was so sure Shuddy was gonna love this movie, and Shuddy was like, y- "You know what? We're not friends anymore. Get the fuck out of here." Yeah, podcast We're over. Fired. Yeah, Shuddy was pissed. Uh, it's the first but... one I've ever not finished. Speaking of supermarket queefs, Alex, I'm not sure if you if you heard our talk about our. Um, Supermarket Sweep watch along podcast that we started on Patreon. Yeah, I watched the uh, or I listened and watched the first episode. What did you think? I liked it a lot. It was funny, and that show is like good to just have it on in the background. Like I listened to you guys, and I was just doing some drawing and watching the show. It was actually a ton of fun. Had you ever seen Supermarket Sweep beforehand? Uh, no, I had only heard you guys like talk about it on the podcast, and. I was like, oh, that sounds like a typical game show. And I mean, it kind of is just a typical game show, but I don't know. It was fun just listening and having you guys. I always like having you. I listen to old episodes throughout this entire pandemic while I've just been drawing or like working on stuff or doing pull-ups by myself. Oh, dang. Well, hey, thanks for the download uh, numbers, Bumps. Did you do? Did you watch along with the episode that we were uh, Yeah, Yeah, I did. I, I mean, yeah, I just hooked my computer up to my TV and put it yeah, on we the did, other screen. We did three already. I'm yeah. happy that you like them so far. Third one just I've went only, up. I've only seen the first one. I'm only on the $5 cheer. I'm a cheap oh, ass. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can get you some links, Alex. We can hook you up. Oh, that's so nice of you guys. I do enjoy them a lot, so I would love listening to them. So can you the, edit that the, part out? I don't, want, I don't want anyone knowing that. You don't want no one I'm getting previous. special treatment? Yeah. Can you edit that? Make a note. Sorry, guys. Shut I'll, up, Jeff. I'll tip Kevin. I'm going to double I'll send it. Him, I'll send him like 10 bucks in Venmo for the month. So uh, oh, yeah, the um, awesome. supermarket sweep came up as a conversation on the podcast because they were bringing it back. They were going to make new episodes. Oh, with the, uh, the girl from Ghostbusters, right? The Leslie Jones? Yeah, with Leslie Jones. So I discovered that Netflix was putting the old ones up. And then we we just kind of came up with the idea for it. Uh, this past weekend, I watched one of the Leslie Jones supermarket sweeps, and was that was absolute torture to get through. Really? How could it be that much worse than the original? They because here's why I kind of thought it was doomed to fail to begin with. The reason supermarket sweep works is because it's so fucking wholesome and corny that it's like, it's just fun to watch and then fun to goof on. This new one is just trying way too hard to be trendy. And they do that thing that a lot of new game shows that we've been discovering do is they find the most, obnoxious annoying contestants possible who are like basically treating it as their audition to go viral or some shit like oh i'm gonna be that wacky guy in the game show and i'm gonna be a 30 second clip on youtube and be famous for a little bit (laughs) it's not just people that like love groceries and want to fucking compete against fellow grocery lovers you're is that what it was to begin with? But it's just a terrible, no, terrible they're not. In it. No. Kevin's upset because they're not in it for the love of the game. Yeah. They're, like, they're chasing <laughs> fame and fortune. Like, how, how dare you Unreal. not have a recipe in mind for what you're picking out? Like, but is remember that what you're when upset about Kevin? Remember when we watched that the floor is lava show and like the contestants were so awful that it was just like yes. I can't even fucking watch this show. That's kind yes. of like what's happened with Supermarket Sweep, the new ones, just obnoxious, annoying. Um, contestants that think that they're like destined to be TikTok stars or some shit. It's not just like going on a game show. It's like, oh, I'm going to be, I'm going to put on this like fake persona and be all zany and animated and shit. It's like, you know what? Pipe down. You know what? You're fucking here for one episode. Just make your guesses and shut the fuck up. You just try and win. Okay. You're not talented. You're not funny. You're not a showman. You're a contestant. 
Be a fucking contestant. Jeez. Contest. Sorry, sorry, Alex. Kevin's grumpy today. That's okay. Whatever. Can't believe they're not in there for to for the love of groceries. I was, <laughs> I was, I was joking. Not be I was like clearly joking fans. about that one, Jeff. Uh, but I, so some of the stuff that they they changed about it. So it's hour long episodes. Oof. Ugh. Is it one set of contestants or does it switch out? No, like they, at the half hour. It's basically like a double episode. So I, oh, okay. I, I couldn't even make it through the second one. I watched one in its entirety, and then when they started gearing up for the second batch of contestants, I was like, I, I can't fucking do this. And I like Leslie Jones. I think she's a really awesome stand-up. Uh, I met her uh, a really long time ago before she blew up. I think I met her when she had like, I think she had like 2,000 Twitter followers or some shit. Like Fitzsimmons, Greg Fitzsimmons had her as, as a guest when I was working on the podcast. And I like talked to him afterwards. Like, I have no idea who that lady is, but that was one of the funniest podcasts you've ever done. She is fucking hysterical. But not everybody's a fit for everything. And I think you need somebody just super corny. You need a David Ruprecht. You need a fucking cornball. There it is. There's the real root of the problem. Kevin doesn't like that a woman is hosting the show. Sexist Kevin's here. Well, woman of color. That's one way of triggering yourself about it you fucking Shut, you better go and do something at the ballot tomorrow and get these pieces of shit out of office <laughs> <laughs> we're just making it acceptable for kevin this <laughs> shitty ass right wing <laughs> thoughts <laughs> ideologies i mean basically my argument is that she's too fucking cool for it no i know i'm just like you, with enough, you. Yeah. and and uh so they they actually did introduce a couple cool new segments that I enjoyed if Leslie Jones wasn't being overly goofy and the contestants weren't being look at me turds. But uh the sweep. Something's wrong with the sweep. I wish one of you guys watched it because there's something off that I can't put my finger on. And then they're putting up insane fucking numbers. Like we've done three episodes of Supermarket Queef so far, and if somebody gets like a thirteen hundred dollar total at the end, it's like, whoa, that's a lot of fucking groceries. These people are putting up like four grand. Like, that's fucking bullshit. There has been a significant know. amount of inflation since then. Not yeah, that much. Dude. Not that I mean, much. Kind of. Like, when was the first supermarket sweeps came out? When was that? The ones we were watching from were from the early 90s. So 90s to today. I mean, there's a decent price gap. But that much from like... Thirteen hundred to four thousand. Don't you think it there seems are a probably stiff. just more it's expensive crazy, products available now? That's well, also. it's they don't do it in a real supermarket. They like pick what is put on like a couple of shelves. I don't know. I just I would, let's think about this in McDonald's cheeseburgers. I'm pretty sure the cheeseburgers increased from like a quarter to what's what's the current value? Let's see how much. Can't you get it on a dollar on the dollar menu or something? Right, like, I think a cheeseburger you can get for like 80, yeah, like 90 cents. Just a cheeseburger. Wow. I'm surprised they still have a dollar menu. Yeah. It's it's not even a dollar menu. It's a value menu, I think. Don't don't even get me started. Oh, fucking Ronald McDonald. I'm voting you out. My father used to tell me. So Grimace 1990... 2020. Uh, a McDonald's cheeseburger cost an average of 71 cents. In inflated August 2018 prices, it would average a dollar 41. Yeah, yeah. So like it half. So it, that, it doubled. Maybe supermarket sweep is fudging the numbers. Something's weird. Something's off. And they also, so you know how um, in the OG supermarket sweep, they have like the the screens you touch and it gives you three clues and if you get that product you get like 250 bucks or you can grind yes. up a bag of coffee and that's 100 bucks they're one of the new things they added there's like a florist and if you get a dozen roses you get money but you have to run to this guy and then say i would like a dozen roses please and then he goes into a fucking comedy routine he's like oh bull oh is this is this a rose? Oh, uh, 
what about this? Is this a rose? And he's just holding shit up and like tripping and falling over. And the person's like, God, I need the fucking roses so I can go get more groceries. It's it's just, it's trying too hard. Do they give more bonuses? Is that why it's maybe more money? They do give more bonuses. The bonuses are for, for more money. I just don't know if it would account for that much. It's It's pretty crazy. So I wanted to, I pulled a couple of clips from it. And since I can't nice. now we're talking. Since I can't load things on the iPad anymore, I have to email MP3s to myself. So let me look these let me look these up. Son of a bitch. My mailbox isn't refreshing. Alright, so I'll set them up. One of my biggest pet peeves, and I think I've been pretty vocal about this, is I hate the word Y A S S S S S S S S S. Yes. I hate that word so much. <laughs> and you hear it like 5,000 times throughout the show. Why does it get your emotions? Like, why are you that emotional about that word? Uh, it just strikes me as something dopey. It just, I don't gotcha. know. It's a new slang that I find I find lame. And it's, oh, no. Fucking. I don't, I don't disagree with you. Just wondering. I don't know. It's one of those weird things that shouldn't make any difference to me whatsoever, but it does. It bums me out. So I tried my best. I was pressed for time, but I made a little compilation of yasses. And it's it's not even like Y-A-S-S-S-S. It's like Y-O-S-S-S-S-S. It's the most exaggerated form I think I've ever heard in my life. Man, I got is so it, many fucking spam. Is it all meals. Leslie Jones Yazes? Yeah. And it bums me out because I really like her. I was rooting for this. I'm sure it's not her idea to sound corny. Okay, here we go. Let's see if this works. Yes! Jeff, you're making but a face. I'm not picking like on it. Every time someone gets a prize, or yes, every time somebody gets a correct answer, yes, yes. Every time an NBA basketball player makes a three during a game that Mike Breen is calling, he always says "bang." Do you Maybe. hate that? No, like it's just like it's you know it's like it's his catchphrase. That's you know, he's going to the Hall of Fame broadcasting an NBA Hall of Fame kind of based on that. Maybe that's like Leslie Jones's thoughts. Like, just going to get, this is going to be my thing. This is going to be my catchphrase. Like, like John Madden with boom or something like that. I feel like it's just too common of a thing. You know, like if I just said sweet, it's like, no, oh, everybody says sweet. You can't fucking call sweet. You can't call dibs on that. That's not your catchphrase. You're just saying a thing that everybody says. I feel like everybody goes, yas. All right. Yeah, maybe it's not original enough. Man, you're tough today, huh? I guess so. Well, grumpy. Here's more nitpicking that nobody else can relate to. <laughs> so there's a new game on the show, which I kind of like. They take a logo, a product logo, and they reveal it like layer by layer, almost like Photoshop style. So as time goes, another section of the logo will like appear and reveal itself. And it's kind of neat because it's like, man, what the fuck is this? And then when it clicks, you're like, oh, okay, I know, I know what it is. I know what it is. But for some reason, Leslie Jones feels like she needs to riff over it while people are watching and thinking. And it reminds me of, uh, this is some old school MSPH shit, when Richard Karn couldn't throw it to commercial on Family Feud. Like the producers always give him like a couple extra seconds to riff with and he'll just be like, all right, we'll be right back. <laughs> What do you like to do? <laughs> so she, I, in one episode, one episode, I found her crutches. So she says, that's pretty. One time it was just a yellow cube. And she goes, oh, that's pretty. And she tells everybody that she can't guess it. Like, hmm. The well, hell's going on over there, Kevin? You're having like a light show on your shirt. I know it's it's my cell phone. I was look I was trying to bring up my notes, but for some reason, 
my cell phone reflecting off me makes weird blinkies. Let me see if I can make it happen on purpose. Of course I can't. <laughs> Fuck me. It just happened. <laughs> I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to go jump off the roof. <laughs> Hurry back. See if you can catch yourself on the balcony. It's not that serious, buddy. We're going to soldier through this. We're going to I'm just it. joking. So I here's a question for y'all. For I me? Was, well, I got a question for everyone. So for Is this supermarket do? sweep related? It's, 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 move, it's a different topic. <laughs> All right, should I play this yeah. montage first and then we can switch topics? Oh, yeah, play the montage. Sorry, I thought you already, I thought there's, an, I didn't know there was another one. My bad. No, Alex, we get you. You're over this. <laughs> I get it. That's why I'm trying to, that's why I'm trying to, that's why I'm trying to rush through it. I can, I can pick up on things when it's like, hmm, thought this would be interesting and it is definitely not. So, hey, we're not getting a second date with Alex. I put, I put the fucking work in, so we'll just rush through it and pretend this segment never happened. <laughs> Here's here's this is a compilation from the first episode of Leslie Jones trying to riff as logos build themselves. All right, let's let some more images come up there. All right, okay, that's pretty. Brown. Right, that looked like a like a smile. It's pretty. Ooh. I don't know what that is. Oh. It just looks like a painting. Ooh, pretty pretty shade of yellow. <laughs> Can't tell. Ooh, ooh, yellow, ooh. yellow. Oh man, how? I, I just, I don't even know if I would. Ooh, it's pretty. <laughs> no, you gotta, you gotta call the contestants lesbians or like foul names or, or I don't know, theorize what they do in their personal t- life. You gotta. Our commentary on supermarket queefs is way better than that. I'll tell you that. Yeah, well, I mean, they must have told her that she can't let there be dead air while it happens, and just gave her no direction whatsoever. Yeah, because she just goes, "Oh, oh, that's pretty," and it's literally just like a square of like brown. They're like, "Oh, that's pretty." It's like, what? It's just an orange rectangle. Kevin, I know you really you were saying you really like Leslie Jones. You think she's really funny, and I know you really hate this, so I'll apologize in advance. Is there a chance though that Leslie Jones isn't in it for the love of groceries as well? And maybe she's just doing it for like a paycheck? And like <laughs> No, because she said off? in the beginning, like right at the beginning of the first episode, she talked about watching it as a kid. And like when she would go to the grocery store with her mom, she would be like training in her mind to one be a one day be a contestant and she hinted that she auditioned to be on the show and didn't get to be a contestant. Huh. Okay. And now she's the host. Yeah. Dreams and I get it. Come true. Only Rags to riches story. Yep. Do you, she, do you think it'll get better, Kevin? No. Cause I can, I can already tell it's the same reason why when I was like, when walking dead was a TV show, I could be like, I don't like this. And I can tell I'm never going to, and I watched it for way longer than I should and it's because I feel like the, like a, a show is set with a tone and Walking Dead was just set to be, it was a comic that was just fucking visceral and brutal and heartless and terrifying. And they, when they made a TV show, they're like, oh, we're just going to make this a soap opera. And it was just like whiny, pouty drama, every character basically having the same personality. And it was like, oh, okay, this is the tone they've chosen. And uh, I'm not feeling it. And I feel like it's the same thing for this. And maybe it's just, maybe, like, uh, we're probably not any fucking network's demo. Alex, you're probably young enough to still be in there, but not our old asses. So they're probably like, what do young kids like? They like people screaming, yas. And they like silly animated YouTube people. Let's just harness that. We can move on. <laughs> Clearly nobody gives a fuck I, about Supermarket I, I, Sweep. We'll we save that for Patreon. A, we don't have to do a Supermarket uh, Queefs for Supermarket Sweeps V2. No, no. Th- I, it, I was thinking that while I was watching it. I was like, oh, this is, we could never do these episodes. It just wouldn't work. You think it would just be just you guys sitting there in silent misery? We need to get... Uh... 
we need to get on the phone with Netflix and get them to re- release more legacy episodes. Then. I know. This is another show that I wanted to pitch to Netflix. Two stoners get baked, talk for a little bit, and then they put on an episode of The Joy of Painting with Bob Ross. And they start with the same canvas and same colors as him. And they have to paint along with him and see how close they get their pictures to match Bob Ross's. I love that idea. That is a good idea. That would be fun to watch. But I do hate trying to do art, though. So would they just be like? It had to be you and Shuddy. Would it be like a show where they're just talking and bullshitting the whole time while they're painting? I was thinking you would put like two stoner comedians, and they would just be on it every time, and maybe have like a guest in sometimes. Oh, okay. But, you know, two stoners that have no art skills whatsoever, painting, doing the same brush strokes, they have the same exact paints, tints, hues, all the tools at their disposal to perfectly replicate a Bob Ross original in real time. And then just comparing who, the results at the end. Who would be the best people to have on that show? Like, what stoner comedians do you guys think would be the most fun to host it? Like, I feel like Brian Posehn comes to mind. Yeah, Brian Posehn and Doug Benson would be a a funny combo. Yeah, we definitely have to. I'd vote for Doug Benson because he was on our podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. He is biased. He is alumni. Yeah, he's he's Puminati. He's really taken off since his appearance, so. Yeah. Yeah, he got that. SPH bump. The Puminati bump will do that to a career. I mean, it's proven. James Gunn. Got better after MSPH, Doug Benson. Yeah, my, my Tinder's he, always popping after I come on the show, so. <laughs> yeah, and now Alex that you've been on for like your Tinder. 20th time, you're probably going to get tapped to direct fucking Captain America 17. Yeah, they're going to be like, uh, oh, n- Nebraska, what a unique perspective. <laughs> we, saw, we saw your art in the Zoom video on that uh, when MSPH published it to YouTube, and we feel like you could add something to this. Comic would you book. like? Would you like your own Star Wars trilogy? <laughs> yeah, would you, yeah. Would you like to direct and produce? We saw your art and we we heard your wit. Would you like to direct and produce the <laughs> Star Wars trilogy? We actually want you to create an R two D two standalone series for Disney Plus. <laughs> we we, no, we heard no dialogue, the dialogue. only beeps. Just, we heard the Puminati Dungeons and Dragons world you created on Dungeons and Dragons episodes on on MSPH. We want you to create a franchise for us. That's the kind of success that could be in your future. It's yeah. Just by doing the great work you're doing on this podcast. I know Kevin's ruining it with his just grumpiness. Hates supermarket queefs part two. Hates what yeah, else? Yeah, all the you all the TV yes. executives were going to tell their movie executive friends about me, but Kevin turned them off by dissing the show. Hey, yeah. maybe maybe we we caught the eye of a couple supermarket sweep purists who appreciated my rant <laughs> yeah they'll, they'll maybe send you letters yeah now, let's be honest that's more the company we want to keep anyways you know I, I i when i was watching it i was stoned but i i legit was like ooh, i think i'm having my second richard karn moment i can't wait to bring this to the puminati <laughs> oops I'm sure they'll be more receptive to it than we were. Yeah, that no, was very no. that was very poor form on our part. Yeah, me, I'm, I'm sorry. Me and me and Alex really went hyper Chris out there on you, and I'm sorry about that. It's all right, man. Look, I can eat I can eat a shit sandwich. I'm familiar with no, the I taste. Guess. I know what's up. It's all right. You throw stuff out there. Some stuff sticks. Some stuff doesn't. And you got to move on and try harder next time. No, no, that's no, what I'm, I'm saying. Like- it's like Andy and Dwight outplaying each other. No, no, no. I'm going to take the blame here. I'm taking the blame. Listen, I got to be a good, like a good wrestling opponent. I got to sell your jokes and I didn't sell it. And I'm sorry. You know what? I'm You're right. Sorry. Step it up. Doodle smocker. <laughs> oh. oh, fuck you. That's <laughs> the way you're going to go. Huh? Hey, um, supple doodle smocker. Shuddy, is it true that you have some breaking news for us? I don't know. Is it, isn't there a button? I don't know. Is there? Mad Scientist Party Hour. 
Breaking news with Shudder. Yes, I do have breaking news. The final announcement of MSPH Wrestling 6 taking place this coming Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern on Dom's Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash domv311. Um, hold on. I am shit. Dom asked me to do one specific thing, and <laughs> I don't have a pen. Oh. Chat for a minute. I'll be right back. Was the one specific thing that Dom wanted you to do is wear a cream pie hoodie? That he had creamed on? <laughs> what do you think Shuddy's going to get? Oh a mask? God. A mask? Know. Or a belt? Maybe it's a belt. A bigger butt plug. I hate this new setup. I hate it. It is so foreign. Okay. So Dom wants us, the three of us, to each pick a winner for all of the matches as I announce them. And whoever has the best record at the end of MSPH Wrestling 6 gets a title shot of their choosing at MSPH Wrestling 7. So we are essentially getting our own in-house money in the bank. So the winner gets to have a title fight at MSPH Wrestling 7 for any title they choose. Unfortunately, though, Kevin, you could not throw your hat in the ring for the women's championship. Aw, that's the only league I probably stand a chance in. I know you want to fight chicks, Kevin, but not this time. Dom's not going to allow it. Nah, fiddlesticks. Um, Dom also says uh, the title, the tag team title match will kick off the event and will the event will end with the Royal Rumble. Any Puminati who are not on the card will get an entry in the Royal Rumble. So if you don't have a match and you're in MSPH Wrestling, you will be in the Rumble. And, Fair and enough. You do have to step. Yeah, you got to step it up in the sideshows so you know you can be worked into the main card, not just in the battle royal. Yep. You got to get Alex worked in as a character. Oh I'm, yeah, that would I'm be surprised awesome. Alex doesn't have a doesn't have a character already. It would be fun. I don't know how to do. I how do I get? I have to just contact Dom to get a character. You're gonna have to fillet Dom. Yeah. Um, I'll have to fillet Dom. Okay. You might have to I'll eat his butt. His contact fair. information. See if I can give him a Zoom job. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the work. tag title match uh, for the inaugural MSPH Tag Team Championship features the Clown Room, Clowny and Ronald, versus Sticks and Stoned, which is Arts and the Mighty Boognish, <laughs> versus Los Lamos, which are two mystery entrants. So how are right. we supposed to make a pick if two of them are mysteries? Well, I mean, as I said in our group chat, everybody's attributes, everybody's got the, the same or very close to the same rating. So it's really... All right, well, just, it, uh, as, as somebody who's been familiar with the wrestling since 2001, I'm, I'm going with the, clown, the clowns. I'm going, I'm going with the Texans. Wait. There There's are no, no Texans, Texans right? in this. Oh man, they're in another. They're in another match, aren't they? So it's the clowns, Arts and Boogie. Yeah, or I'm going Los Arts, Lamo. Sticks and Sticks and Stone. That's the best team name I've heard in a while. I love it. It is a great name. Jeff is going Sticks and Stoned. I thought I saw that the Texans were on the card, though. My bad. And I am going to go with Los Lamos. All right. Do you know who the mystery? Who those guys are? Or girls. Look at this fucking uh, Trivial Pursuit cheating ass. Of course he does. Yeah. I'm sure you've you've got the answers somewhere. You probably even fluffed up their stats and their attributes. Oh, stop it. All right. Steel cage match for the MSPH Women's Championship. The challenger cashing in her Money in the Bank briefcase, Bonnie versus Gen T reigning champion. I'm... If they fought in real life, Gen T would f- just tear her apart by the limbs. 
and I'm just going to have to, I'm just going to have to believe and think that the video game knows that and understands that I'm going to, I'm going to say Gen T retains her title. I also am going to, sorry, Bonnie, I, I'm going with Rambopra. It would be so adorable if, if Bonnie's character beat uh, Rambopra. I can't say that. Gen T. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to say it because it's a great nickname, but it's too, it's too tough for me. I do love both ladies, but I'm sorry, Bonnie. I got to, I got to hitch my ride on Gen T. I take it back. No, I'm not. This whole, this whole podcast isn't going for Gen T. I'm picking an upset. What do I get plus money since you pussies are on one side? Nope. Nope. You get negative points for being a contrarian. All right. I'm going, letting, letting that be your only deciding factor in things. This is the one, one of the few times I'm not going to bet on black. Let's go, Bonnie. (laughs) <laughs> all right now wait shuddy you and i should go first just so jeff has to pick it the a different one every time yeah, yeah. oh well then we should have yeah. colluded on the next one we'll just uh elbow jeff into submission and the loser whoever uh, loses has to drink their own piss right sure what what are you talking about and as we know msph Re- wrestling six uh, is titled Blippi's Revenge. Yeah, he's, and in the he's next mad. match of the night, it's the backstage brawl for the hardcore champion challenger Blippi taking on his arch rival Jeff the Dragon Clark. Yep. Am I gonna get? Do I get two ringside guests? Can I, I take pick, my dog? I and pick the goat? Jeff, and so does Shuddy. Who's yep, your pick, Jeff? We both pick Jeff. No, I want, I'm taking myself, of course. I'm not oh, look at this poser. One. I can't. Uh, no, come on. You know how much I like to fade, but I'm not losing that fucking pussy blippy. Here we go. Tag along Clark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you sons of bitches. I'm going to have to, if I, you know what? If I win the title, I might turn it, or if I retain the title and win at MSPH Wrestling, I'm going to request that my name gets changed to a doodle smocker as like a reverse troll. <laughs> you guys are going to, you guys, there's going to be a doodle smocker champion. And then we just uh, create the Poo Fingers Magoo belt. <laughs> or, you know, whatever. <laughs> the next match is the fatal five-way table elimination match for the MSPH Canadian Championship. Oh, boy. Featuring is it Y2- only Canadians allowed? Only Canadians allowed. Right, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Y2J Chris Jericho <laughs> versus good, Snowman good Poo. Oh, no, it's not only Canadians. Versus Spat. Wait, versus okay. Haffy. Well, versus he's from Michigan. That's Low close Man enough. Chris, yeah. reigning champion and former... Sole resident of the MSPH Puminati basement. You know what? I'm going to go spat. I don't know why. He looked good. He looked good in the paddock. I'm taking Chris. I'm taking the champ. He's he's coming to defend his belt. Yeah, I'm taking Chris as well. Mm. I think I think the champ retains his title. I know how these algorithms work. <laughs> Next. We should- we should oh. handicap or uh, book this. I'll take any action. Just let me know. Next, we have the uh, Hell in a Cell match for the MSPH Television Championship, featuring the Hurt Business, Apollo Creed versus Thunder Wolf versus T Bone versus Dylan the Trucker versus Twisted Texan versus the reigning champ Chief Brody. So this is just a free for all. Yep, in a hell in a cell. What so was the first a... person you said before Apollo Creed? Thunderwolf. No, I thought or there was I, the the hurt business in quotes Apollo Creed. That's his oh. nickname. I think he's my favorite character out of everyone who's not in the Puminati. I pick Apollo Creed. <laughs> 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 you fucking. All right. So I did a happy hour this week. Went well. I don't know if I talked about this on the Patreon, but we did a happy hour with uh, Puminati. 
And Chief Brody was at it. And so was Thunderwolf, but Thunderwolf went camera off. He was probably masturbating or tubing in on the end. But <laughs> Chief Brody, Borb came through. I, uh, that's why I'm, I'm, that's why I'm picking killing. Chief Brody. Picking him to retain his title. That's why I'm picking Chief Brody. Because he came to my happy hour. Where were you, Kevin? Work. I had to work. You fucking pussy. Yeah, fuck me. Alex, you should be weighing in on these things. Do you watch these? Alex, yeah, I've watch watched uh, I've watched two of them. I've acci- I've missed one uh accidentally and then one I was out of town for. Are but, we doing uh, a Are we doing a Zoom call, Shuddy? I would like to. Uh Kevin had some issues with the last one though with too many people talking at once. So, why don't you guys just mute everyone yeah. but you guys? And just everyone just listens to you. Cuz it's not a show. That's not you don't, you don't want it to be like a showy thing. Yeah, yeah, we're not doing a show. Maybe some other time, but not this time. Uh, we want to hang out. I, Kevin, you danced around it, but we got to the bottom of the issue and your issue, and I think I think all that situation has been sorted out. So come back. Let's do another Zoom call. And I was going to say, Alex, you're invited, too. I'm, I'm in I on the Zoom. That. I'm in that on the Zoom. Great. Kevin, is it just that it reminds you of your family Zoom calls? Kevin wanted to build the wall. Let's just put it that way. He wanted to build with the wall with the, the Zoom chat. I don't uh, even remember what Jeff is referencing. But... Is the Monsters Among Men handicap elimination match? So it is Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man and Skeletor as a tag team versus the Voice of God Mike, Big Sexy. And Diamond Dallas Dwit. <laughs> nice. Oh man. <sighs> uh, I'm going. I'm going Skeletor. I've I've just seen him win too many times. So this is a five way match. No, it's Skeletor and Marshmallow Man versus a team of three. Oh, a handicap match. Yeah, that's why it's called a Monsters Among Men handicap elimination yeah. match. So when you're pinned, you're out. So yeah. So okay, they gotta they gotta give three pins to two. Skeletor yep. is a force of nature. Yeah, but I thought all the ratings were equal. If the ratings are equal and there's three against two, I gotta I gotta take the odds, right? I'm taking the the, the three dudes. The three <laughs> The three Sounds Puminati. like a typical Jeff Clark Saturday. What's there? <laughs> I I walked right into that. I walked right into that. Oh nice. yeah, you walked into that thing, fucking Predator first. Yep, yeah. and you you stayed no, in it and you savored it. Uh, mouth and butthole <laughs> open, walked right into it. Unbelievable. Yeah, you just fucking shimmied in the middle of a spit roasting somehow. Fair enough. All right, let's not let's not beat a dead horse. My bad. Yeah, sorry, I'm going you got gang bang, Jeff. Nice. You're gonna, I, you're, you're gonna come off the top rope, <laughs> pun intended. <laughs> I, I'm also gonna go. I'm gonna side with Jeff and pick Voice of God's team. Yeah, the men. Fuck the monsters. And then uh, we have the triple threat, no holds barred match for the undisputed world heavyweight championship, uh, featuring Shawnee Killface cashing in his Money in the Bank briefcase versus Neon Kevin Kraft versus reigning champ Ginger and Juice. Are you nervous? My money's on Ginger and Juice. Am I nervous? What? No. How do you not bet yourself? Because I'm the first person eliminated in every single one of these we've ever done. Man, have some confidence. You fucking... Flaccid didn't you vagina. didn't the, the in the last round of picks say oh gotta play the numbers <laughs> why would i bet I mean, on I took why would i bet on the guy who gets kicked out the second they enter the ring every fucking match because <laughs> that guy is you you pussy i, I don't care i want to win points i, I don't want to have to drink hey, my own pee all right hey you're right if, if you know you're too much of a bitch i feel you. yeah bet someone else I'll go with Kevin. I want to win, uh, win points off of your. I had ass. already written down Kevin as my <laughs> nice, suckers. Nice. 
Oh man, it's all a right. win all the way around. You don't get points. Kevin beats Ginger. I like don't kill or don't die, but he can go down. Whatever. Then we have the women's Money in the Bank uh, sure elimination chamber drawing. match. Chamber match. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this one, they start off. They each start off in a little cell inside the inside a cage. And then two get let out and they fight. And then a third one comes out and joins the fight. And then a fourth one comes out. So you just have. But it's actually being released into three, four. (laughs) It's six women. Can we call this for the, can we, can we rebrand their belt? The Nexium belt. (laughs) Loser against their vagina brand. This features the rock star, Amanda L. Poo emoji, Brandon, next to your, your ass. Your <laughs> versus asshole. curvy <laughs> beer girl versus red rage, aka blorp, versus the goat versus Yasmin Bleeth versus Jamie Foxx. Can of red which, rage get the money in the bank to get back to a title shot for the belt Gen T took from her? Red rage is a fierce competitor. I gotta, I gotta put my money on her. As do I. Oh, man. Uh-huh. I was too, but I got to side with you guys because she was at the happy hour as well. Her and Chief Brody were hanging out, and I appreciate that. Uh, some new... Also, we discussed this during happy hour, some some unfortunate, actually the worst news possibly ever. The Goats... were uh, The Goats Cafe is closed. It's permanently closed. So she works at another place. Possibly, hopefully, one day. I don't know what's going on. And we're going to have to locate her. But Oh, man. She might be gone. We have she to send out a search party. My life forever. We need a search party for the goat. I'm glad I got to meet her. Right. Before. Yeah. Now, now I'm bummed I never went. All it's Listen to me, Orange County. And there, we have some people out there. We got some Puminati out there. It is all hands on deck. Everyone <laughs> needs to do drive-bys or... Uh, Pop-ins, we'll call it that. That's probably the more appropriate. Yeah, term. don't Pop-ins. do drive-bys on any Vietnamese <laughs> yeah, coffee shops, no, please. No, no, you don't no, endorse wrong, that. No, no. Sorry, I'm getting my slang. Fucked I up. could imagine Pop-ins. getting. You could get like a police sketch artist and just start posting flyers around. Oh yeah, we're, like have oh. you seen this ass? You know have what? You seen no. this predator? Jeff we're doing wanted, wanted photo. Oh, Jeff, wanted. Jeff should. Jeff is do actually it. issuing a bolo as we speak. Yeah, Jeff, you should draw your own wanted poster, and then we can put it up on Instagram. What I'm, you know, what I'm. <laughs> no, that would no, be fantastic. We're not blending your fucking ideas. I hate that. I, I said I hate doing art. You don't, don't make me do that. I, I was gonna say we just screenshot her uh, at MSPH wrestling her character, and then we put that on a wanted poster. It is oddly close. Is I it? would I would rather have Jeff draw her though. <laughs> From memory. I think we vote that I think we should vote on it. It's just Jeff. I, it's like a stick figure with like big tits on it. My art is way more exclusive than Shuddy's impressions. There's have no you, way. Have You're you seen this art. goat? <laughs> Anyways, I yeah. I know we Make gotta, your we gotta wrap up the MSPH talk here, but Chief uh I'm, I almost said Chief Brody. Mrs. Chief Brody. Blorp. That's what I'm going with. All right. You mean Mrs.? That's what I said, Mrs. No, you said Mr. No. No, I didn't. No. Yes, you did. No. <laughs> no. No, I didn't. All right. Anyway. Is that the last one? <laughs> that was the last one. And then oh, okay. The last match is the um, the 30-man Royal Rumble. 30-person Royal Rumble. Now we're talking oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. really progressive of us. We got two women uh, wrestling matches. Yeah, look at us go. Yeah. Uh, did you guys? Technology. You guys watch anything? I watched two horror movies. Are they new ones or old ones? Uh, relatively new. Let me get Letterbox D up and have more information for you. Uh, I wa- we watched both of them. Nope. One on Shudder, one on Netflix. Um, on Shudder, we watched a movie 
called The Furies. The Furies. That sounds kind of familiar. It is, um, I believe, an Australian film or New Zealand because they all had key, those Australian or possibly New Zealand accents. Um, it's from 2019. It's about uh, these girls who get kidnapped and put into like a death game. And there, uh, there are killers on the island hunting them. Oh, so it's kind of like the hunt minus politics. Yeah, or uh, that very, very good St- Stone Cold Steve Austin film called The Condemned. How many? Okay. How many Condemned dicks are you talking? I love Condemned. That's a that's a four and a half or all day for nice. me. Nice. It's okay. just, it's unbelievably violent. It's, it's what it's good for. Like it's the, the story is silly. Uh, Checks the boxes you want. Yeah. Huh. Uh, and it's got uh, the British guy who likes to play. That was the soccer hooligan. In Vinny Jones. Road trip. Yeah. Vinny Jones. He's really good in it. But anyway, the Furies, it was all right. It was two and a half. I, I give it a two and a half. It, the characters, the girls were not very likable. Uh, and the movie was very almost bipolar in, in its tones. Like it was very strange. It, it twisted very weirdly at the end and was not, I didn't think it was that great. Uh, but it came in at a crisp 82 minutes. Oh, Shuddy so, likes that. So it was, you know, in and out. Uh, the second movie was on Netflix and that's called the apostle. That also or, sounds oh, familiar. It's like a torture horror one, right? Yes. Yep. I know what you're talking about. That's um, Alex's favorite kind. Yep. My, my absolute favorite is intense psychological gore. It, it wasn't even, there was, there were definitely some gory parts. Was it? It was more tonal than anything. Um, that was two hours and ten minutes. Um, but it has Dan Stevens. He play. He's in the Legion, or was in Legion on FX. Nope, didn't watch that. Um, Seek liked it a lot. I think. He did, yeah, I remember him talking about it. Um, but it's about a, a girl who gets kidnapped and by a cult led by Michael Sheen. Oh, I like Michael Sheen. He was excellent in it. And so the brother infiltrates this cult. It takes place at the turn of the, the 20th century, so it's old-timey. Um, and it gets violent, and it was good. It was much better. Then I liked it more than Furies, but also there were some scene. There's one scene where the main character goes to run away from his captors, and he very clumsily and with no grace kicks like a gate open, and then just like turns around and looks very shot. Like it's a bizarre scene, and looked very silly. Um, but I enjoyed it. That was a that's a three dicker. Second <laughs> three apostle dicks. All right. And then we started Color Out of Space or whatever it's called, and it was boring. How it's a slow dare you. burn movie. It gets way more intense. I don't want to say intense. The, the like halfway through is really where it picks up. All right. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't get very far before one of us fell asleep, so the other one of us turned it off. Just a fun movie to watch um, Nick Cage do his thing. He really gets to do his thing. Oh, yeah. I mean, in the little bit that I watched, he was doing his thing. I mean, that's part of the reason I appreciated Mandy so much was because we got Nicolas Cage at his Nicolas Cageiest. Untethered. Yep. Yeah. I only watched one thing 
And it's not necessarily a new movie. It's just a newly available movie. Okay. I watched Memories of Murder, which is Bong Joon-ho's second movie. And it's... What's up, Jeff? What, what was his first? I f- forget what it's called. Something like something about barking dogs lie or some shit like that. But it's the guy that made Parasite. Gotcha. Okay. okay. <laughs> Wait. My bad. Thanks. I like that Jeff's question to try and figure out who you were talking about was <laughs> what his first movie was. Wait a second. So who was Bon Jovi's first movie? <laughs> <laughs> like, what was? I just didn't get. Like, I didn't. I don't know. The way he said it was like his second movie. Like, all right. Well, what was the first one? I don't know. Why does this guy matter? Yeah, Parasite guy. All right. So, cool. all right, I got him. All right. After yeah. after you know, he, he won best picture, he may be Korean. He feels Koreanish. He might be Jeff. He's <laughs> he's definitely a Koreanese. So they, yeah, he's he's Mister Kamsamnida. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, legit, not like cultural appropriation, no. like rant rant. He's no poser, <laughs> like rant <Yeah>. rant. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's the other room. <laughs> Alex, have you seen Parasite? No, I haven't seen Parasite. Is it because, like me, you can't read movies and watch them at the same time? I normally, when I watch movies, I draw, so I can't also. I only watch martial art movies if they have subtitles. Beyond that, it's hard for me to sit down. What the fuck are you talking about? Haven't we been in the movies? You didn't bring like a fucking. yeah, a like in a movie pad. theater, but like if I'm at home, I always have like my iPad or, or my sketchbook or something, and I'm yeah, drawing. Yeah, I got you doing doodles. Yeah, I'm doodling. You're like uh, Shuddy who plays video games while he podcasts. Exactly, yeah. Right, well, it's exactly good thing we that. Don't, good thing we don't have fucking subtitles in this podcast. Shuddy would be screwed. Uh, for real, I would. <laughs> yeah, but it would like, just be me and Jeff calling a... each other pussies for 90 minutes. <laughs> I have to make such a concerted effort to watch subtitled films. If they're in theaters, I usually catch them. But if they go to DVD, I end up missing them. But I, I, I really enjoyed Parasite. And the more like time went by after seeing it, the more I thought about it. I liked it more and more. And I actually just got the Criterion um, Blu-ray discs that I'm going to be watching shortly. But I went through his catalog... And I watched a few other of his movies, and I enjoyed them. And this one got like really good reviews, and I couldn't find a fucking way to watch it anywhere. Like all there were no, you know, uh, what are we? Region one. There were no region one discs available. It's not streaming anywhere, and the only discs you could find were ones that don't play on North American players. And they finally put it up on VOD, so you can like rent it on like your cable provider, or I think it's on the PlayStation Store, and it's on Prime. So I finally got to watch it, and it's it was solid. It's a dark fucking movie. So it's it's basically it's based on a true story of these detectives kind of in the boondocks of Korea trying to solve the first ever Korean serial killer who just has like these patterns of like raping and killing women. And they start like catching on to his clues and like the the settings that he needs for his, his crimes and stuff. And it was, I mean, it's not like a fun watch <laughs> cause it's a, it's a pretty dark movie, but it was, it was really well done. And if you liked, if you like parasite, you know, that the main, the, the dad guy is his name. Like, uh, let me look it up. Um, cause is I've seen like... him in a couple other Korean movies too. Oh, Kang, Kang Ho song. He's kind of like the the chubbier guy, who's the the chauffeur in Parasite. He's like the the main dude in it, and it was it was a solid flick. Um, and if you can you know if you can handle subtitles, unlike all these wieners, I I definitely recommend it. I'll I'll suck four four murder dicks, four bong dicks. Was it, did you say which streaming platform this is on again? He got it VOD. He said. Yeah, I just bought it on Prime because I had some, mm. I had Sound, some credits. It sounds kind of good. It sounds interesting. So is it like Korean it's, 7? A little bit. It's got a little bit of that vibe. It's just not as violent. 
but okay. it's it's dark and the cops are fucked up like they're not like you're not this isn't watching an american cop movie like they're torturing people and beating suspects and stuff they have no restraint if they get pissed off they'll just like slap somebody it's like Whoa. oh that's great yeah um and i no body cams i'm not gonna <laughs> no yeah well the movie takes place in like 86 or something like that oh because wow. that's yeah, when you could really get away with stuff yeah, yeah. Stuff when you were definitely cops. qualified yeah. immunity that's the when he's in korea wow what a yeah. lawless time that's when the 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 crimes that they based the movie sure. on took place and I recommend when the movie ends, if you do end up watching it, Google the actual crime and look up on it. That's that's all I'll say. Is it fu- like is it scary? Is it fucked? It's pretty fucked up. It's not like as dark as Seven, but it's definitely you know got its heavy moments. I think Kev- uh, he means the actual. M- yeah, like the crime, that story that it's based off of. Oh yeah. They got from what the killer does in the movie to what the killer did in real life are pretty much identical. Fuck. Dude. They just took a few liberties, I guess, with some of the other things. But um, the movie w- came out in 2003. Oh, I'm almost getting into spoiler territory. I'm going to leave it there. I'm not going to say any more because I could fuck up. I'm you tired. Said, I'm saying a lot of, of shit. Murder. Memories of murder. Memories of murder. Yeah. Bong, Bong Cho Ho. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> that's, yep. That's his name. <laughs> that's mean. I got to get that right. What's his name? Say it again. Bong Joon Ho. Bong, Bong Joon Ho. Okay. Bong Joon Ho. Parasite was all right. Bong, two, four Bong Joon Ho dicks. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? I don't have anything uh, to watch, or I don't have anything to review. You didn't watch anything? Way. No. I will say, give a little shout out to our former network friend, colleagues, partners, roommates, whatever. The the Godfather, Rob Sprantz, they're doing a lot of cool shit at the hole. Oh my God, recently. yeah. Uh, recently, they got some huge guests. Shout out to them. I don't know how they're doing it, but they're killing it, and their YouTube numbers are blowing up, and... I'm pretty happy for them. They had Jeremy Piven on recently. Yeah. I'm like oddly like really into Jeremy Piven filmography. And I wanted to ask you if you guys have ever seen this movie. I was thinking about talking about this. I have a feeling I know which one you're going to throw out there. but I hope it's the one that I'm thinking of. I think I... we might be thinking of the same one, Shuddy. I'm this sure is... you and I are on the same page. This movie is Hold on, I'm going to write it down. You write it down too, Kevin. I'm going to just text you. It's a deep cut. I don't know. It's a deep cut. All right. Well, hold on. Let me let me text Shuddy. Let me see. Yeah. Alex, get your Do you know like, Alex, do you know Jeremy Piven filmography? I get your I don't know ready, any right? deep cut Jeremy Piven filmography. Get I your don't guess think I ready. Okay. It's not a good guess at all. Oh, and you ready? just you just knocked your mic out. Nope. God That's not it. what I think it is at all, Kevin. Oh, okay. Okay, you guys are ready? Do I sound all right? Yes. Have you guys ever seen the movie Judgment Night? Oh. Oh, no, we were all wrong. The, yep. Yeah. That was the one that had the, the soundtrack that, like, spliced up hip-hop and metal, right? Yeah, there's yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a little bit of rap, rock, a vibey, vibe action from the soundtrack. I don't know. Yeah, I guess I didn't think of it like that. I don't remember it like that. That's not what. That's not what I came to talk about, Kevin. Well, fucking Judgment spit Night. it out. It's a Clark. Face. This is a Clark classic. I. It's not. It wasn't streaming on any uh, on any platform, and I really wanted to watch it, so I just bought the Blu-ray. I've had it for a few weeks now. I've seen this movie probably like 25, 30 times. I love it. Holy shit. Got Jeremy Piven, Cuban, uh, Cuba Gooding Jr., Emilio, es- uh, Emilio Estevez, Dennis Leary, <laughs> the guy Zed from Pulp Fiction. Uh, I think his name's Peter Green. Is he the oh, guy that was the, the bad guy in The Mask? Did I say? Yeah. Yeah. Did I say Steven Dorf? 
Did I say him? You did not. He's in it. Movie fucking bangs. I love it, dude. And I finally bought it on Blu-ray, and I just own it. And then I'll be able to watch it from here on out. Um, and I love it. It's a five-dicker. So if you guys can get your hands on that, I don't know, get it as your next uh, Netflix disc purchase or mailer. I don't know, however you do that, Kevin. But check it out. Judgment Night. Cuba Gooding Jr. in one of his finest non-radio performances. I want to get some feedback on this one. So if anyone's seen that movie uh, or is going to watch it, I want to hear. I want to hear if if it's just me because I I'm gonna watch this movie again. The last time I seen this probably like three years ago, two years ago. And I'm. So you haven't even watched it since you got it. No, I just needed to own it because I love that movie so much. <laughs> I had like I had a craving for it. I didn't own the movie and I thought I can never this can never happen to me again. If I if I want to watch Judgment Night, I better just I just need to own it. No. And that's what I decided to do. And I could have bought it on Amazon, but I said fuck that. I want the disc. So, so I, you bought the I, disc I bought from the Amazon? Yeah, 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 exactly. I bought the Blu-ray, the disc from Amazon, exactly. I thought you were going to say PCU. Yeah, and I thought you were going to say the goods. PCU isn't a deep cut. How is PCU not a deep cut? I think that's pretty mainstream, right? Yeah. Like, David Spade, John Favreau. Isn't there like... PCU is... Oh, that's that's the, the movie that originated You Can't Wear a band shirt to the concert of the band you're going to see because they you're that guy. That's the movie that originated the that guy catchphrase. Wait, Don't be that guy. Is that a thing? <laughs> yeah. That's not a thing, Which right? part? Which part? Which part like, are you questioning? Like you I, you could wear the band or the shirt of the band to a concert that you're going to, right? You're well, I think not supposed to. It is Really? <laughs> it is generally frowned upon it's basically like you're at the concert everybody knows you like that band it's kind of like liking your own facebook post a little bit no shit. and i'll admit i'll admit when i first started going to shows a lot i was that guy until multiple people said something to me yeah don't be that guy and that all started in pcu interesting have you guys seen the goods Yes, the goods is great. I fucking love the goods. Yeah. I just saw that for the first time like this past year, I think. Fucking epic, right? Yeah, that was great. We just had yeah. um, Jeremy Piven on the Ella show. Nice. Seemed like a super nice dude. It was a good interview. Nice guy. Sure he was. Or he sure he is. Uh, entourage. I got a whole bunch. I I got my whole like college group of homies into into Entourage. There's people Ari Gold. Those- yeah, there's people with Oh, yeah, he was now. already I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I never... I dropped that nugget into our little dorm room, on our dorm room floor, and it just spread. Everyone got an entourage by sophomore year. It was... Entourage! In all conversations. Entourage. Did you guys just, like, have entourage watch parties? Were you just, like, yeah, huddled sure. in your dorm room watching these people? But live extravagant lives. Oh, I got yep. dibs on Dick being turtle. Ass. I'll watch an entourage like some real, just some real alphas. Alphas. Oh my God. What an ass clown. I couldn't think of a better name. I don't know. It's not cool. It's not alpha shit, but that's what, yeah, every Sunday night. It's, it was, it was a short watch too. That was, I thought, one of the, the charming aspects of entourage. It was only 30 minutes. It was usually jam packed with some cool stuff. Here or there, you'd get a decent joke. I've never seen boobs. They got boobs in that show. No. Boobs are cool. Um, Before we go, I've been trying to think of stuff now that we're on YouTube and all that. Some stuff that would work visually and audio wise. And I wanted to just try something real quick. I haven't even been practicing. I haven't warmed up, so this could be a bust. But I wanted to see if I still have my armpit fart chops. And see if maybe you guys could make some requests, and I'll see if I can if I can match them. So you tell like, me, 
like what kind of fart you want to hear, and I'll see if I can make that fart for you. It's like build well, a bear. I was asking me to do the Fresh Prince of Bel Air uh, theme song. Oh, that I, might I be didn't too know hard. Where you're going with this. I can try songs, but let's let's warm up with you guys throwing types of farts at me, and I'm gonna try and I'll try and mimic <laughs> it. I'll try and do my best. Uh, Facsimile. I don't, I don't really know what you're talking about. So Alex, why don't you give the first type of fart? How about a wet fart? Okay, let me see. Basic Come on, bitch. Jeff. What you? Basic, what do you want me to bitch. say? What do you want me to be like? like I thought you were a, gonna go a with a wet deep fart? Cut fart. A deep cut fart? What's a deep cut fart? I don't well, know. how about I try that's... a wet fart, and you can try and think of what a deep cut fart is, Jeff. Yeah. All right. Now this is just a warm up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my best here. Nope. No. Fail. Oh yeah, that was that wet. Pretty good. That was a little that wet, right? Was wet. Good. Yeah, you you landed that plane. Okay. I didn't think you were gonna be able to. It took I me three one. tries. Church fart. Don't you don't really want it to come out, but it sneaks out. Oh, you see, I got you. You know what I'm talking and I'll, about. I'll show my work afterwards. Do you want me to draw it? You know what? I'm oh, gonna okay. try. I'm gonna try and back up into the mic. I'm gonna do this one backwards. <laughs> okay. I think that's gonna get the best sound. Well, you're the expert. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was not very churchy. That was, yeah, no. that was because every time you try to fart in church, it's loud as fuck and it slaps the wood. <laughs> yeah. And it's a trillion times louder than you wanted it to be. Like if you're on the pew and you fart, you can really get to, and with the the acoustics of a church. Yeah. Then you really, really have to the show. Then you really have to sit in your own pew. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we should end it, right? That's the end how of about time. how about a, a low bassy one that that's got a little bit of length to it? Okay. 311 fart. I got gotcha. you. I gotta make a real. I gotta make a real deep cup. Nah, that wasn't deep enough. Hold on, I'm gonna try and get the air out from under my tit. I think Damn. you had it. You almost had it on that the first try of I that. I know. I was like a couch fart. Close, Dude, but was, oh, that was a good one. Hold on, I think I found the sweet spot. To me, that was more churchy it, than, the, than the church one. With a little Got bit it. of wetness at the end. That was definitely one that was probably regrettable to to let out. <laughs> All right, I'll try and close this out with an air biscuit. Did that come through? No. <laughs> Fuck. All right, hold on, hold on. Cause you, yeah, you're not going to hear it go biscuity. like... What's like the loudest one you can make? Like what's the most intense one? Like... Yeah, give us a and, pants ripper. Yeah, like a sneeze and shit yourself fart. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. A oh, damage man. control fart. A fucking, yeah, one where you need to leave the room. Fucking big fat bellies <laughs> hanging out. And shit. Where you need to go home, actually. You gotta leave the entire you gotta leave the entire apartment. Yeah, and you know you're getting a one star over rating or, on your way. Or home. as or as Alex would call it, the his bedroom, living room, <laughs> kitchen. No kitchen, just bathroom. <laughs> oh, and bathroom. Yeah, sorry. So we're just trying for loud as possible? Like the loudest, most intense fart. Sure, yeah. Yeah, um, you lose friends on this. I think I got it. Nope. Hold on, hold on. Sorry. Do over. I'm going backwards for this one, too. <laughs> <laughs> Mic'd up properly. Looks like your finger in your armpit. That was a good one. Yeah. Fuck. Hold on. Oh, 
Oh, that's the sneeze one right there. <laughs> You're all hunched over and shit. I know. I gotta contort myself in despicable hunchback ways. Let me see if I can contort. do some trick shots here. Hold on, hold on. Ow! I hit my head! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you, do you have your sippy cup? Nope. God, Kevin, you need an OnlyFans. Better not make him. <laughs> Don't give him any ideas. That's the ten dollar tier, actually. He's gonna start doing OnlyFans stuff. <laughs> this is so weird. This is the video content they need. This is. Excuse me. We. Look. This. This is basic. People are going to be, the majority of people are going to be listening to this on election day, trying to take people's minds off of things with some behind the knee farts. Oh, I got one more. Okay, hold on. So this is a shoulder neck fart. I think I'm going to have to take the headphones off for this one. Hold on. I don't know why some lady hasn't put a ring on that finger yet. <laughs> all right, how about this one? It's all the lady's fault. All hands. Can you make I a fake fart noise somehow using your butt cheeks? Try sliding your hand between them and squeezing. See if that works. Yeah, see like, if you can leverage the crack. <laughs> you want him to make his ass cheeks clap? No, no I wants... want him to make a fart noise, but somehow using his butt cheeks. Like his butt cheeks and his hand. I've never tried that before. And I'm going to have to be careful. I don't want to get us kicked off of YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to fist his ass. Great. Right? Do we, we don't have any voicemails? <laughs> Hold on. You just look like you're picking your own ass. <laughs> That's exactly what it looks like. You got like four <laughs> knuckles. It's not working. And you're embarrassing yourself. You're going to lose your job. It's better not. Let's not put this on the internet. <laughs> this oh, I cool. thought I had it. What did... What did... <laughs> I thought I thought if I could cup my hand over my anus and then just create some suction. And no, it ended up just looking like I was fisting my own ass. Now you got a smelly hand. I think our friendship just weakened a little bit, unfortunately. You need a that wet nap. Terrible. That was terrible. You shouldn't do that. You know what, Jeff? I don't see you thinking of fucking groundbreaking new bits to do. Oh, you know what? I got a Jeff Suck a Dick that question. Hurt. No, thank you. Thank God. We could start. We could start with that. I got I actually got like four, like not four. I got like ten of them. But I will. We oh my goodness! Yeah, I can't take ten dicks today. Just give I mean, me like oh three yeah. Or four. You took three <laughs> earlier. It's time to find out what it would take for Jeff Clark to suck a dick. Oh, yeah. So, Jeff, would you rather suck a dick where every time you take a shit, you gotta shit a full sized snake? I'll, I'll do that one. I'll shit a full size snake. You'll shit I, a full size snake? Who doesn't get impressed by their own shits if it's huge? Yeah, but you're scared of snakes. I'm be not a that snake? scared of snakes. Not, I, not of a poo snake that came in on my butthole. No, but it's no, a, it's real, a snake. real snake. Oh. I either suck a dick or I shit snakes? Yeah, yeah. you shit real snakes. Huh. Oh, man. Do I get... Am, am I done with the snake after I shit it? Or... No, it's just a snake there. 
You just shitted a snake. Every morning you'd have a new snake. So I'm living with the snake that I just shit. Or well, I, I suck mean, a dick. You got you could get rid of it. You could have someone take you could like sh- animal shit control? the snake. Yeah, you could like shit the snake to the animal control van every morning. Think about that. How every are you time so calm over there, Jeff. Every time you go out for burritos, Jeff, you're gonna end up with three snakes that day. Yeah, it's like a venomous snake when you eat spicy food. Yeah, I go to Chipotle and my fucking apartment turns into a jungle. <laughs> uh, well, Shuddy, to answer your question, I've accepted that my team is terrible and, and I don't have any hope for us. And whatever, whatever happens, happens. If we lose all of our games, hopefully we get a new quarterback. And our division sucks so bad that we're still somewhat in this. So That is very true. And we're doing a podcast here, and I'm more committed to the Puminati than the Giants at this moment. Man, I thought I, I thought Shuddy Boy was asking Jeff how can he be so calm while he thinks about shitting out snakes. I completely no, forgot that there was no. football happening. I, I just had a notification he, that the I got a notification a little while ago that the Giants were still winning by two, and then I just got another notification that the Giants are now down by eight. <laughs> yeah, and I'm trying to just you know. Put on, the, put on the best show that I can here and not even address the fact that my shitty team is going to choke in Monday Night Football. I think I'll suck the dick instead of the snakes. I I don't like snakes at all. And yeah, it's just like, that's just a problem I don't want to deal with for the rest of my life. He, whatever. I was, I was a little harsh. Do you feel good about me sucking this dick? How about you give me another one? That's something that's more fair, for God's sakes. Okay, something that's more <laughs> fair. Um... Let me find a good one, because this is actually a pretty long list. I love um, that you have a list. Got a lot of dicks right now. Uh, okay, how about one where you're rewarded, like a reward one where you get something? Uh, would Jeff suck a dick, and because he sucks a dick, you win 100% of any physical altercation you're involved in. So if you ever get in a fight or you fight anyone and you pick a fight, you're winning that physical altercation. I think I would. Yeah, I think I'd suck that dick. You'd go be the UFC champ? Yeah, because you can monitor the too, so it works in several ways. I also think being like the heavyweight champ, being the heavyweight champion in the world is the best like title you can have. Oh, you yeah. You could, you could fight Floyd Mayweather and John Jones at the same time. Throw Conor McGregor in yeah. there, why don't you? And you're kicking all their asses. Right. Yeah, if you can if I like can just whoop Tyson Fury's ass. God, that would be so fucking funny. That is sweet just cuz I blew a guy once. I would probably suck a dick just to watch Jeff like whip Conor McGregor's ass. Like Jeff doesn't change <laughs> physically, right? He still looks exactly the same. He's still just Jeff, yeah. So Jeff, he just, he just got knockout power. Just fucking up Conor McGregor would be the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, just whooping. stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, you just made me feel better about taking this dick for sure. I got this one. Yeah. What's the matter? Cause it can't stop be... me. You little fucking leprechaun. Cause I don't know. It's just, I'm not, I've never been in a fight and I'm, believe it or not, I'm pretty, I'm a pretty chill dude. You know, I guess that's part of never being in a fight, but it is like if I could just whoop anyone's ass and, you know, like I wouldn't abuse that, but I would definitely use it. It'd be pretty fucking sweet. And then like beating up people that, that are, mm, I don't know. I guess it'd be kind of shitty to beat up the champion because that guy trained his whole life to be the champion. <laughs> and I just blew someone. <laughs> but hey, he doesn't need to know that. I you should, we won't talk you should, about my dick sucking pass. You should funny. suck the dick. Yeah, like, like they list everyone's accolades, like oh, this is black belt in jujitsu, like Muay Thai champion, yeah. and then it just says Jeff cocksucker. Yeah, <laughs> Jeff sucked yeah, some dick. Some guys' amateur records like three fifty and fucking one, and I'm just like I blew a guy once. <laughs> Jeff one dick. Sucked Two thousand twenty, I just blew a guy. Or or if you waited to get your superpowers until like the night of the fight and just right outside the octagon, you're just like sucking this dude's dick while mean mugging Conor McGregor. Oh. In the locker room doing it. I'm coming for you. Block, block, block. And then you just like whip my, his ass. He's like taping up his his hands and like he's 
going through the motions, like doing his little warm up, and I'm just blowing a guy. Yeah, there's just like a record like scratch, and everybody in the octagon is just like. YouTube. Now, would it make the victory or the defeat any more bitter for Conor McGregor if he's the one that Jeff blew to get these superpowers? No, we no, I don't want to blow him. He doesn't deserve it. <laughs> Are you gonna <laughs> snowball him at the end? No. Oh. The it's it, it, this isn't about that. It's this about is the strictly gift. transactional. This is this, strictly transactional. Yeah, I'm not trying to end up Jeff. on Pornhub. I'm trying to get the deed done and then get my powers. <laughs> this is fun. This is better than the snakes. I don't want to be punished. Give me a little. Give me Incentive some to suck with my that dick. Yeah, yeah, I will. I'll take that. You're two for two. You fucking creep. What, do I'm you have two. I got one? you to suck two. Yeah, I got plenty. Yeah. Do you want a do you want a uh, a, con, a a bad one or a good one? I want good news this time. Um well, I guess again. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to give you this one's pretty bad. This one's okay. Uh would Jeff suck a dick or you got to fully become a Scientologist? Oh, no, I'm taking Scientology. Really? You're going to be a Scientologist? Of course. My man Tom Cruise is, is in the Scientologist. I'll hang out with Tom. Oh, hey, Tom. Out with Tom. You're like on the sidewalk, like trying to convert other people. And like, yeah, he's not even going to look getting, at you. Like getting butt fucked by whatever. He wouldn't probably wouldn't get butt fucked. Wait a second. Wait a second. Hyperbolic. <laughs> I'm not turning down a dick to go get butt fucked by Scientologists. That's not what's happening. I'm, no. you I'm can't gonna protect my butthole. But you, you can't like, hang out with. Live in a, like a windowless room in that like weird blue building you can never leave yeah it's gonna be years before you can hang out with tom cruise or john travolta you gotta like, donate at, like 20 million dollars before you get to that yeah level. and at best you can hang out with like kirstie alley <laughs> that's dope who's mm. wait what is what did she do again what was the uh who, look who's talking loved it oh I, you know <laughs> what kirstie i've been meaning to ask you how did you guys get that baby to talk <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got that baby to do a Bruce Willis impression. How did you do it? What was the casting process? How did you find a baby that sounds exactly like Bruce Willis? Hey, what the fuck? Do you guys think that she got into Scientology after meeting John Travolta on the set of Look Who's Talking? You think that's how it all happened? Maybe that's how he got into it. Yeah, yeah have I told you about my weird religion that worships aliens? Oh, Are you oh my God, I'm totally in. Are you anti John Travolta? Who me? Yeah. Fuck no. Clean Nick Cage. <laughs> Clean Nick Cage. <laughs> I like John Travolta. I'm sorry. I can't. I'm not gonna. That guy. I like him too. How can you not like John Travolta? I don't know. I feel like he's gotten a bad rap over the years. Maybe. Maybe, maybe he's, I'm just he's like been making, making some. I feel like he's been he making some poor cool movie as choices. He used to be, but he's still pretty cool. Yeah, he's been making very poor movie choices. In the in the last like five, ugh, maybe ten years, the twenty years. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's had a rough two thousands. We'll say that, but his career is just so wonderful. What are we talking? We're talking about blowing dudes, not John Travolta. Yeah, um, let's, Jeff. I'm I'm glad you you have the topic on your mind. And you know when to circle back. Yeah. All right. You want to do one no, more, do and then we can save we can save a couple for Patreon. Sure. So you're not sucking the dick? No, no, I'm taking Scientology. Scientology. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll hang out the Scientologist. Hey, Tom Cruise, you want to rub our thetans together? You, (laughs) you seem to know a lot about Scientology, Alex. I've I've seen that South Park episode, and then I also lived like uh, six blocks from that building when I lived in L.A. That blue one, the big one that's famous. Does that have anything to do with it? With what? Does that matter? <laughs> so you live near that building? Well, I'd walk by them all the time, so I know like their tactics of trying to get people to take their flyers. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. In that sense, that's what I mean. I got gotcha. you. I didn't. I I actually didn't know anything about that. So, fair enough. You got one more? I said I wasn't going to oh, suck the dick. What do you want to do? We got another one. Okay. Yeah, I we got time we were... for one more. One more quick one, and then we got to okay. then we got to wrap uh, up. Yeah, would I Jeff just, suck I... a dick? Or the next time he jizzes, he dies. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. No, you got to do another one. That one doesn't count. Why not? Because you could just not jizz for the rest of your life. What if he has a wet dream? I yeah. guess that's true. 
I'll ask I mean, a different one. This has never happened to me, but you know, it's, it's just, sometimes you just you jizz not on command, and I don't want to be penalized. Yeah, legally. what if I'm watching football and the dude bends over and I just? <laughs> I thought you're gonna go. I thought it was gonna be friendlier than that, Kevin, and I won my bet. But no, it's <laughs> homo behavior. Go figure with you. It's always it's always like that with you. Yeah, give me give me one more. Um. Suck a dick, or every day you have to do sounding. Oy. I'm confused. Say that again. Every, uh, you every you suck a dick, or you every day you have to like do sounding, which is like where they stick like a needle or whatever down your dickhead. In your in your pee hole, you basically have to get your pee hole drilled by like a metal rod. I never heard of this. It's called sounding. <laughs> Yeah, I think. What is it used yeah, for? Please. What do they What do they do with it? Yeah, or Google. They Google that? image it. Some dudes think, are just into it, I guess. I'm dealing with too much. All right, we're <laughs> driving to try to tie the game. All right, I don't need this shit right now. Sound. <laughs> yeah, I'll. St- I don't want needles stuck in my penis for the rest of my life. I'll <laughs> suck that dick. <laughs> this game just turned unfun. <laughs> I'm not getting prizes anymore. That's just punishments. <laughs> Punishments or penises? That's how you're gonna do me, Alex. Uh, I'm not getting okay, any Jeff. prizes. I thought I got, I got the, we doing I got the more Giants the on this side. Oh, I got Patreon, picks on this yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. All right, Alex. Thank you for hanging out. It's good seeing you again. Um, it's been a ton of fun. Hopefully, uh, hopefully everybody gets their shit together, and one day we can travel again and hang out in person. That, that would be, be nice awesome. before the year 2025 or some shit. Yeah, I'd like to see you guys before I'm 40. Yeah, same. And I only got two years. <laughs> Don't worry, I got a whole six, buddy. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, as we mentioned before, show's on YouTube now, so if you want to see any of these antics, the only thing that's not on YouTube is the Easter egg, which you have to listen to the audio podcast for. But, yeah, check us out, youtube.com slash Hour, keeping the URLs SEO-friendly, if you need more Mad Scientist Party Hour in your life, go to patreon.com slash Mad Scientist Party Hour. Um, you can sign up and hear $5 tier has the uh, the weekly bonus podcast we do every week. And then the $10 tier has all of our individual shows plus the brand new Supermarket Queefs. So check that out, friends. Uh, you can also follow us on Instagram. I'm at Kevin Craft. At Shuddy Boy. At Jeff for Records. At Mr. Alex Wilson. And don't forget to listen to Jeff's podcast, Fade the Media. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Oh, if you want to be a part of voicemails, yay, call 201-472-0139. Or you can just shoot your emails to madscientistpartyhour at gmail.com. Ooh, Mad Scientist Part, MSPH Pro Wrestling 6? Yes, is- MSPH Wrestling 6. Blippi's Revenge, Saturday, November 7th, 8 p.m., twitch.tv slash domv311. 8 p.m., what time zone? Eastern. So 6 6 p.m. your time. What time zone are you in, Alex? Uh, It is 1019 right now. Oh, Uh, so you're, you're in Central? You're not in Mountain? No, Colorado becomes Mountain. I'm in Central. All right. So yeah, then you're like right be... near Colorado. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wish uh, I was closer to Colorado. Yeah. They have, they have, uh, they can only go one way in their electoral college votes, whereas you fucking fruitcakes can go all these different ways. Yeah, you we give got, one to the green. We could give one to the green if everyone voted the green party. Could I, I mean, anyone could give electoral votes to the green party if they voted for it. You know what to work on tomorrow. You got your, you got your homework assignment. <laughs> Yep, I'll try to flip Nebraska for you, Jeff. Flip Nebraska green. <laughs> it's ambitious. But yeah. At the last minute, last minute, Nebraska takes a turn to the green. Oh. Yep. President Kanye. Oh no, he's the birthday party. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna. Is that I'm real. Gonna, I'm jumping off my roof for real. I'll be back. Is it real? Did you? Is it really called? Is Kanye? I, I heard that Kanye West was running for president, but is he really? Mm-hmm. Running under the birthday party? Yes, he is a mentally ill man. (laughs) 
No, like full blown. Bangers. I mean, he, like Picasso painted pretty things, but he cut off his ear, man. Like, fair. Yeah, no, that's a good point. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, like, no, exactly. I might want one of his things hanging in my house, but like, I don't want to hang out with the dude. No, yeah, he's definitely not chill. That's a good point. Uh, All right, well, well we got to get into the Patreon. Shuddy, anything you need to promote? No. Alex, do you have anything you need to promote? Nah, man. No I'm books? All good. Nothing? No, nah, I don't have anything really coming out. I'm I'm doing a lot of personal time right now. Yeah, right on. Personal development. I feel you. A lot of edging, I feel you. Huh? A lot of edging. I'm and just sounding. right constantly at the edge. It's your V-neck that got me there. Yeah, I've heard that before. Seen on the subreddits. I get it. What can you do? All right, friends. Well, fucking stay safe out there. Stay safe. I got a weird, weird feeling things are going to get fucking bad. Just throwing it out there. I want the Puminati to stay safe, man. Do it end the night. Mark my words. (laughs) Hey, there's a fucking, there's there's an Easter egg. I'm looking out for the We're Puminati. We're going to die from the... <laughs> Damn it, you're the host, Kevin. You just can't go off the rails. you got to hold us together. We're all going to die. I didn't know that. Yeah, what the what fuck am I going to do? Earlier? <laughs> Alex is going to go and turn Nebraska green. I can't go fucking patrol all 50 states. I'm telling you, man. You guys laughed at me when I said COVID was going to be some shit. And here we are seven months in. And we're st- we're still stuck in our fucking houses. I'm telling you, man, I got I a don't sneaking disagree suspicion. with you, but your delivery was just so. <laughs> One final thought. Tomorrow is Armageddon. Not tomorrow. I'm saying this is going to be, I have a feeling this is going to be a long, ongoing thing. And I know it's, it's hard to say anything serious with the fucking is not, three kindergartners. Like walking around. Prepare for a slow, painful death, everybody. Dude, I'm t- my, dude, my family is like, we're staying indoors for a little bit. We're not fucking going to any public places. It's all delivery meals for a couple of weeks. I just, just a final thought. I worry about the Puminati. We're a family. I just want everybody to be safe. I have a very sneaking suspicion we're in for some rough shit. So be safe. That's all I'm saying. You can laugh at me next week when I'm wrong. But I got a little sneaking suspicion. Again, it's not the sentiment that anybody is laughing. I know at. it's me. I just blew fucking armpit farts out of my neck. No, I'm I'm definitely laughing at the sentiment too. It's a little bit of that. I'm definitely. It's both. I'm laughing at both. You're a fucking trip. All right. Well, let's well, bet when you die. Let's then bet I'll money be on it. Let's bet money on it, Jeff. Let's really <laughs> seal. <laughs> let's really seal okay. it. Okay, so there was a civil war like, you know, 160 years ago. Do you want to bet on that? You you want it happened. You're right. I think we'll be all right. I think we're going to make it. Yeah, you say that a lot and you're often wrong. <laughs> all right, fair enough. Yeah, if if I'm erring on the side of caution. Deployed, all I'm doing is I'm erring on the side of caution. Stay safe, Puma. That's what I'm trying to say. Just fucking be careful. You're freaking out my dog. You hear her? She's fucking barking. Good. Allie, stay inside. Just poop on Jeff's pillow. No walks. Oh, great. Now Jeff's pissed. All right, friends. Until next time, something. <laughs>